Hi, welcome to Reddit Cheating's official channel. Please, don't forget to subscribe and like our videos, so we can keep growing. And now, it's story time. Hello, it's been a year since I've posted on Reddit, so thought it would be fitting to post my story along with a year update. I fixed the grammar etc. on the first post as I was drunk. Cheers. Tuesday, October 27, 2020. I'm writing this from my phone so bear with me if it's formatted wrong. So last night my wife of 7 years decided to have a chill out night. After dinner, she went to the den and was watching her programs while I flitted between watching the Spurs game football slash soccer and doing some odds and ends that I had planned. Next thing I know she's got the wine out and has had two bottles of the stuff. At around midnight I went to check on her and saw she was out cold on the couch. I went to scoop her up when her e-watch thing buzzed and a message popped up on the screen. It said something along the lines of ha ah, I can't do, that my name would knock seven shades of shit out of me colon pp, I wondered what the fuck that was all about so I pressed on it, and it was a conversation between my wife and a friend of mine. Now, I wouldn't say this guy is a close friend, but he's someone I've played five asides with for years, drank with, and have known since we were teenagers. We used to call him Jacket Holder because when we got into scraps as teens, he'd always be the guy holding the jackets while everyone else went for it. Right so as I said I pushed on the conversation while this thing is still attached to her wrist and scroll up to the top and as far as I can tell it's him that contacts her first unless she's deleted. There's lots of flirting and wink winking going on but nothing that you could outright say was cheating. Then I get to last night and when she's drunk she starts openly begging him for sex, I couldn't believe my fucking eyes. I'm paraphrasing here because I can't remember the exact words but she was saying shit like how much she had always wanted him how no one would ever find out if he did want to do something, and the last one that fucking killed me. That she was great at keeping secrets. I tried to scroll on her watch but couldn't find any other messages and I don't know her phone passcode. I put her in her bed and just sat in the kitchen in shock until I fell asleep. Then got up for work at about 5.30. When I went to get in my work van I just slunked down on the wheel and realized I couldn't face it so I went back in the house, grabbed a half-drunk bottle of vodka, filled it to the top with coke, and went on a walk down the railway line. We live beside a lot of woodlands and a disused railway line that goes for miles, and I've walked about half the length of it. I'm sitting under a railway bridge like a fucking troll right now, just seething at the whole thing. You probably think there's a fire going from a mile away due to the steam coming out of my ears. So what do I do? I don't want to speak to her. I can't even bear to look at her after reading that shit. It was like a dagger through my heart. I just feel like every morsel of love I had for her has evaporated into thin air after reading her begging like that, fucking yuck. I honestly want to ghost her man, if I could, I would never speak to her again. The whole I'm great at keeping secrets was the thing that got me though like who even are you? It reeks but it's a case of how far down the rabbit hole do I want to go? I don't care if I'm being honest, I'm just done, I've never felt so betrayed and disgusted in all my life. The thing is I've invested so much in her not just as a partner but as a person. I loved her so much and thought her personality and by extension, my personality, reflected that of good people. To realize she's a backstabbing snake, makes me feel like a snake, I feel like a worse person than I was yesterday. The only way I can describe it is for someone you looked up to, took advice and life lessons from, to suddenly find out they were a pedo or a rapist or just a downright creep. Your entire perception of yourself and who you are would be shattered because you've taken on board what they've said and invested time into a creep. God, I'm rambling nonsense, I apologize. I'm lucky in that our house is owned by my parents, who six years ago moved to a retirement village and we moved in. The house will be bequeathed to me when they die, but I don't and hopefully won't own it for a long time. They couldn't be bothered with the upkeep and all the problems etc. and wanted to see out their final days in peace, so when we do divorce my soon-to-be ex won't be getting her hands on it. So, what do I do then? I'm honestly thinking of just not saying a word and throwing her right out. Also, while walking here it went through my mind to get my mate who's a locksmith to quietly change the locks today, I could feed her any old garbage about something from the doors being broken, she won't care what's going on anyway, as long as I'm about. Then after he's done, lock the front door and tell her to come and look at something out the back, when she comes out, Run back in and lock the door behind me. That sounds childish as fuck doesn't it? It's seriously though I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm staring a bottle right now and my life feels like it has been ripped apart at the seams. As for that prick so-called friend of mine, 
There's no doubt he was up to something here. There's also no doubt I wouldn't have caught wind of this at all, so I'll be seeing him very soon. Never mind holding jackets, he'll be holding his face. Subscribe to our channel for more interesting Reddit cheating stories.